Hello and welcome to a very special Fintech Monthly filmed here at Finnovate Europe. More on the conference later in the show. When it comes to mobile apps, UK banks still have a lot of learning to do. Only one of the UK's top five retail banks cut the mustard following usability tests of their apps. Adaptive Labs ranked them on functionality, usability and more. HSBC's app fared worst, scoring a disappointing 33% overall, but rival bank Barclays was top of the pile, scoring 73% in the tests. It's not all doom and gloom. The study also revealed that 4 in 10 UK consumers use a mobile app every week. Also, 19% of those consumers would like that app to be the only touchpoint they have with their bank. Today we're at Finnovate Europe, one of the few major conferences solely dedicated to fintech. Thousands of VCs, entrepreneurs and top banking execs have descended upon the capital for the two-day event. Over 60 fintech startups are pitching for investment and new customers. Here's some of their highlights. It's an amazing event, a lot of people, a lot of opportunities. We are always here to engage with, with people, to showcase our technology and of course for new business opportunities. Well, Finnovate is, is clearly the fintech conference here, here in London. It's one of the largest in Europe. Being here makes sense. You know, we're exposed to, obviously, the ecosystem in general, and uh, this is a high-profile event. We're a high-profile company, we're here. Highlight of the day has been being on stage. It's been absolutely fantastic being in front of uh, 1,100 people, I think it was. Uh, really uh, feeling like this is a, uh, an audience who are immediately going to get your message. It's fantastic. It has been reported that over $380 million has been stolen by Hong Kong-based Bitcoin exchange, MyCoin. We spoke to Louis Smith of CoinJar to get his opinion. Well, for one thing, it's not a Bitcoin story. They, they were just using the excitement around Bitcoin to try and pull people in and take their money. They could have been flogging oil futures or gold futures or anything like that. Boris Johnson has traveled to New York to fly the flag for UK fintech. With so much Anglo-American love in the air, we asked Richard Gould of Rag Lawrence Graham & Co for his expertise on the matter. For the short and medium term at least, London and New York are going to be dominant in the world. But I don't think you should ever discount San Francisco. I'm there every few months and every time I go there there's a new incubator, a new hub that's generating fantastic companies. And these companies are getting significantly more funding than anywhere else in the world. And then I think there's Asia, and there's a debate to be had around Hong Kong versus Singapore, but I think Singapore's probably going to be the leader there, and I think that's probably the main reason why Cybos, the big conference around financial services, is being held there this year. JudoPay and Money Dashboard have raised significant amounts of funding. JudoPay raised £6 million in funding soon after winning KFC as a client. The London-based startup enables hungry shoppers to securely purchase their bargain bucket online via a mobile device before collecting the goods in store. Money Dashboard, who aggregate all of a user's bank accounts into one interface, raised £3.7 million from Calculus Capital. In the coming months, you'll be able to use the JudoPay powered app before striding into your local chicken emporium. Do let us know if it really is finger licking good. That's all we've got time for this month. Do keep your eye on our Twitter feed for updates. I've been Ben Goldsmith and thanks for watching.